Now students, materiality concept. What is materiality? Now materiality means something which is important. This concept tells us to focus on material facts. That is the facts, the facts which are important for calculation of profits. For calculation of profits. Now we must understand one thing that these facts vary from one business to another. Let's take an example to illustrate this point. Let's say you are in a stationary business. So for you pencils, pens, erasers, although they have cost wise they are very very cheap but they will be considered as your goods. So they should be recorded. But let's say you are a manufacturing business. In a manufacturing business, pen, pencils, erasers, their cost is very minuscule as compared to the other costs. And these are not materially important for calculation of profits. So they are assumed to have been consumed in the same year. What I mean by consumed in the same year is that their stock is not carried forward to next year and they are just written off. So by material facts, what we get is correct estimate of profits. Now students, these material facts can further be classified on basis of cost and on basis of time. Now on basis of cost means the items which are of lower values or lesser amounts, they should be clubbed with other items. I'm not saying they should be ignored, but they can be clubbed with other items as miscellaneous expenditures and are recorded as a journal item. On the basis of time, what we understand by basis of time is only the facts which are important for that period of time. Important for a particular period of time. are recorded in the books of accounts and are declared for the decision making of the interested users. Coming to objectivity concept. Now objectivity concept tells us that the accounting information should be free from bias. Should be free from bias. Now this is again linked to the qualitative aspect of the accounting information that is any concept or any information that is disclosed through the books of accounts should actually be supported by verifiable documents supported by verifiable documents now what we mean by verifiable documents is like if you write that a sale of 10 lakh rupees has taken place and you have recorded that transaction. So that transaction must be supported by bills, agreements or receipts. Otherwise you cannot verify whether the information given is correct or not. So objectivity concept tells us to actually make sure that whatever information that we have presented in the accounts is free from bias and that information is backed by valid proofs.